Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a kitty cat on the rainbow loom. This one is an orange tabby, and I'm going to show you how to make this one in the tutorial. And I used the caramel color and the darker tan color in the camo pack as a little accessory color. And you can also use the same pattern and make a calico, which I just have white bands for the legs little white face with the different markings around same coloration I used the camel pack with the caramel and I added some black on the back of it and then I also made a black cat with all black so and they came out really cute I love them and I also have another tutorial for this cute little Siamese if you like to make a Siamese cat I have that tutorial too so you can make all three different cats with the same pattern for what I'm going to show you today. And I use e-beads and I just put a little marker line in the middle for the pupil. And in this tutorial I'm going to use bands. So I'm going to make green eyes for this kitty cat and I'm going to use the same coloration for this little tabby. And if you want to make a calico, you can make a calico, a black cat, or even a white cat. Whatever color you like. Okay, let's get started. You'll also need a different color for the whiskers. I used a gray for the whiskers for this one. You can use um, white or even clear. For this tutorial, I'm going to use clear. I think that would be a cute um, color. So let's get started. And you're going to use, I'm going to make this kitty cat. So you're going to need caramel. But if you want to use make any other color you want just use the same pattern that I'm using and whatever color you want so this is a double band and we're placing it on the top of the loom from this pin to this pin and it's staggered position arrow facing down here's another double band then another double band working on the side of the head then another double band and now you need a triple band for the lower neck area so you need three bands and you're going to place it on this pin and you're going to stretch all the way down to this pin so it's going to be one two three fourth pin down is that triple band now I'm going to make another triple band I'm going to stretch from this pin to this pin. Big stretch. So once again, these are all doubles, and then triple, triple. And now we're going to work on the middle of the head, the head, the face, and I'm going to make the same color. If you want to make a white face, this is the time to change the colors. So double band again from the middle top down, then another double band, and then finally the last double band. Okay, so now I'm going to use a single band. It's going to be a little band that makes the face a little wider and goes on the side of the eye. So if you're making a white face or a different color face, you want it the color of your face. And I'm going to make it the same color as um, the sides and everything, so I'm just going to use the caramel. So it's, this is going to be a single band, and it's going to stretch from this pin to this pin. So once again, single band. I'm going to place another single band. Big stretch, just like that. Okay, so once again, this is single, single double, 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 and then the middle is double, and then there's triple here and triple here. Now we're going to work on the uh, neck area, and it's going to be a triple band. So three right there for the neck, and then the body length is going to be four stitches long, and we're going to doubles right now. So we're going to do the length of the body first. So there's one stitch, and once again doubles. Two. Three. And number 
this way. Okay, now we'll work on this side of the body. And we're going right here where we started the double. A little shoulder area. And we're just working our way down. Okay, so now we're at the end. And we're going to connect these two pins. And now we're working on the other side. Okay, just doubles working our way down. And then connecting at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to work and make the tail. And I really like how this tail came out. And it's the camel pack color, um, the darkest of the tans. And I'm just going, you know, every other with the colors. So it's going to be caramel, then camel, then caramel, then camel. You can do whatever colors you want. If you want to make it all caramel, you can do that too. Whatever you want. So let's get started. And it's going to be on the hook. And I'm going to first make a caramel. Place it on the hook. Wrap it four times. So one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to get my dark tan. It's going to be a single, twist it upon itself. Then you place it on the hook, place the caramel on there, bring it back on the hook, so it looks like that. And then I'm going to go back to caramel, single twist, place it on the hook. Okay, and then you get to see the little shape. I'm going to do another um, camel pack tan, single twist. And then we'll go back to the caramel, single twist. And then we'll go back to the tan. We're going to make a total of seven stitches. So let's count how many we have right now. So one, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. Okay, I'm not counting this end piece as a stitch, just the single twist. So let's count again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we're going to place it right here. That's going to be our tail. Okay, now we're going to make the front legs, and I'm just going to use the same coloration as the body. So caramel, single, place it on the hook, it's one, two, three, and four times around. And then you're going to do four single twists, so I'll get my bands out, single twist. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so that's the front leg. And then you need a double band. So two right here. Place it on the hook. Bring that on that, on the double, bring it back on the hook, and then you're going to place it right here. Okay, 
right, just like that. Okay, we're going to make another leg, so I'm going to need four. Okay, so there you go. So one, two, three, four, and then four single twists. Here's one. two, three, and four. Okay, then you need a double and you place it on the hook and slide it on through. Just like that. And we're going to place it right here. Line it. And now the back legs. It's going to be a single wrap around the hook four times. One, two, three, four. You need four single twists again. Single twist. And same as before. One, two, Three, and four. Oops. Okay, then you're going to need a double, and then slide that on the double. And now we're going to make a little thigh area for your kitty cat. And you're going to need a triple to make her more 3D. So you need a triple. Place it on the hook. Slide it on. And we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. And this will create a thigh. And now we're going to repeat on this side. So single, one, two, three, four, then you need four bands, single twist, then another single twist, total of four. Okay, and now you need a double. Bring it back on the hook, and now a triple. Okay, and it's going to go right here and right here. Okay, now we're going to make structural bands. Okay, so the structural bands are a single, and it's going to be a triangle. And we're just going to place it just like that, connecting these three pins. Then another single triangle. Then another single triangle. Okay, now we're going to work on the nose. And in this nose, I'm going to use the um, Camel Pack Tan, so it comes out a little bit um, more pronounced. So it's going to be a single, wrapped four times around, one, two, three, four. Then I'm going to take a caramel and slide that on there. And then I'm just going to place it connecting these two pins. just like that. So now we'll work on the eyes. 
and I used E beads for these eyes. You can also use small pony beads. I think that will be cute. And then you can take a magic marker and make a little pupil. But I'm going to use bands for this one because not everybody has the beads. So I'm going to make green eyes for her. It's going to be a single. And you're going to make a figure eight just like this. Or you can wrap it around four times just like the nose. Then you take that and then wrap it around again. And that is the eye. So either do it this way with the figure eight or just wrap it four times. So we'll make another figure eight, just like that. Then grab that and wrap it around again. Then I'm gonna take a caramel, place it on the hook, slide the eyes on the caramel, and then I'm gonna place the end of the bands on this pin and this pin. And then I'm gonna separate the eyes and then bring it down and hang it under this second pin in the middle. Just like that. And that's my eyes. So I'm gonna place it right here. So it's gonna be connected here and here and then bring it down and lay down underneath here. So the eyes stay here. And now I'm gonna work on the ears. I'm gonna put these down. Now pay close attention to the ears. I'm going to make the middle part of the ear, the camel pack tan, and then um, the surrounding ear, the caramel color. If you want to make it one color, you can do that too. So you don't have to make the middle part different. I'm going to start on the middle part right now. It's going to be a single, placed on the hook, wrapped four times around. So one, two, three, four. Then you're going to take two of the um, ear color. So that's caramel. I'm going to place it on the hook. Pay close attention. And I'm going to twist. I'm going to do one twist and two twists. Then I'm going to place it back on the hook. And you can see that it's pointy on the top. It's the same way that I make the um, husky, if you ever made the Siberian husky. I'm going to show you again. So two bands, place it on the right side, twist one, so it looks like figure eight, and twist again. And then that's your ear. Then you take another caramel, single twist, and then slide the ear, the bands on there. So I'm going to put the caramel part first, then the middle part then caramel again. Then I'm going to place the single twist back on the hook and I'm going to place it right here. It makes a really cute ear and it comes out really nice. So I'm going to do that again. And you just place it right on top. Okay, we'll do that again. So a single of the tan. One, two, three, four. Then you take the two caramel, place it right on the right side. So one twist, two twists. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to take a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, bring it all over, single twist back on, and then place it right here. and place it up so the ears are up 
and this is your layout. So make sure yours looks like this. Get your whisker colors also ready. I'm going to use clear for this one, the clear bands. And I'm just going to place them right here because once we start looming, I'm going to put the whiskers on here so that we don't lose the nose when he comes off of the loom. So let's start looming. Make sure it looks like this. Pull the tail back. And my first band, oops, my triangle came off. Let me put it back on. Is this one on the left. So I'm going to grab the uppermost and then bring it to the left. Then I'm going to grab this one and bring it to the right. Then I'm going to go in the middle and loom forward. All the way up to the neck area. We're going to stop right there. Now we're going to loom the right side of the kitty cat. And I'm only looming the bottom bands. Okay, so we're just looming the bottom. The bottom two bands. Okay, and looming forward. Okay, right here we're just grabbing this band. And bringing it to this little neck area. Now we'll do the same on the left side, just the bottom. See right there? Okay, and then we're going to grab this band also. Okay, so now we're at the triple band for the neck. So go all the way under, grab that triple band, bring it forward, and our next one is this top middle band. And then we have the triple band on the left side. It's a big stretch to this pin. I think I'm missing one of the bands. There we go. So make sure I already grabbed two of them, so I needed that third. So now I'm going to grab this one. There we go with that. And now we're grabbing this single band right here. And we're going to just go underneath our, um, this band for the nose is right there. So we're going to grab that single band, big stretch. And I want the eye on the inside of this band. Okay, we're going to grab this single band. I'm taking my time because I don't want to make any mistakes and I want to show you guys how to do it so I go very nicely. Okay, we got the band. Big stretch and I want that eye on the inside. Okay, so now get your whiskers ready. We're going to grab this band in the middle and we'll bring it over. And now I want you to go and get the nose and place your hook on the inside of the four bands for the nose. So I have it right here. 
And then I want to grab my whiskers. So I brought the nose out and I'm going to grab my whiskers, place it on the hook and just slide the whiskers through that nose. So it looks just like that. This also prevents the nose from hiding when we take the, um, the cat off the loom. So you want to keep the nose out. So now I'm going to grab this band in the middle, so between the eyes, and loom forward. So we have everything loomed right here, and now we're going on the side of the head. We're going to grab this band first. Loom to the ear, and now we're grabbing this band. It's going to be a little tight. Loosen it up. And now I'm going to grab this one on the left. And now this one on the top. All the on the bottom. Okay, just like that. And this is your kitty cat. Make sure she looks like this. And I need a double band to make my slip knot. I'm just going to pull it right through, bring it to the top. Okay, make my slip knot. And now I'm going to slowly take it off the loom. Work with the tail first, then the legs. I love this um, pattern because you can make so many different types of little domestic cats. Different colors, different everything. So now we're at the neck area. Just bring it up. Here's the side of the head. The side. Now here's the nose. Let's put our hook right through and just bring it up so we don't lose it. And the ears. And the head, the top. We don't need the loom anymore. I'm going to take my hook out. Now my eyes are in the back of the head. So we want to put our finger on the back, push them through, and this will make it more 3D also. Push the front of the head through. And I have my whiskers coming out, and here's my eye, and here's that single band. I want to bring it to the side of the eye. I want to bring my eye out, so I'm just going to pull it out. Same over here. You have, I don't know if you can see it, that single band over here. And I'm going to pull that eye out, make it more prominent. So now you can see the eyes out and the nose with the little cute little whiskers. We're going to stretch the neck out, stretch the legs, bring it out. And we're going to turn this little guy into this little guy. So first, we're going to find that triple band on the neck. Then you're going to do a slight little tug, and it's going to bring the head upright, just like that. And now we're going to sew the body shut, and if you've made any of my dogs or the Siamese cat, you know um, what I'm going to do right now. And you're going to just fold the cat together, and then we're just going to sew the middle. It's very easy. There are little shoulder bands right here. We're going to place our hook right through these shoulder bands. 
So make sure yours looks like this. Then we're going to take our band and bring it through. And then we're going to make a little slip knot. Just like that. I want the slip knot to lay a little bit low. Pull it taut. Hold their knot. Then we're going to go to the next band and the next stitch. Put our hook, then bring our stitch through, pull it taut. Then we'll go to our next stitch underneath that one. Grab that and pull again, pull through. You can stop there or I go a little bit farther to the next stitch, pull it through and then you need your trusty scissors and please be careful not to cut yourself or the cat snip the end. Then you're going to take one end and you're going to anchor the other end inside the stitches in the belly. So you're going to pull it through underneath one, a couple bands. So then I anchored that and then I'm going to make like around three knots to secure it. Two and three. Okay, so that secures it. You can hide the excess bands within the cat or you can cut the excess bands again. And I like to cut them. Just so be careful. Okay, so now bring the legs down. Now I have a tail that's laying down. I want that tail up. So I'm going to pull that tail out. I'm going to grab the bottom band, place my hook right through, then I'm going to bring the tail and just tug. Tug that tail forward and now it's going more up and then you can actually, however, you can bend the tail until it's straight up or however you want the tail. And it looks really nice to me. So, and then what else I like to do? I like to, you can keep the paws straight down like this, or else if you want to be a little bit more, more picky, you can actually move that um, capping band forward a little bit, and it does make a little paw, like a little forward paw, like I do with the dogs. But I think with the kitty cats, just a straight leg is just enough. So, and then the ears. Well, let's sew, the, so let's sew this in the back of the head first, because we want to hide this. So I want to find some stitches in the back. And just like we sewed the belly, we're just going to sew the back of the head to make it more round. And it also hides those top two bands. Okay, just like that. And then you can stick, stuff it in the back of the head, the excess. And now the back of the head is round. Tail is up, legs down. And the ears. Now this ear is showing more of the middle tan color and this one's not. So basically I just open it up a little bit and that makes it even more prominent and then this one I'm just going to peel that outside color back and you have more of the middle color coming out. And then if your ear is like laying down like that you can actually just pull this and then just move the bands toward the middle of the head and it will move and you have a beautiful kitty cat. 
Now if you want to, you can add, get a magic marker and add little um, pupil lines for the eyes. And it does work on the rubber bands. I have some rubber bands facing down. I think that would work out a little bit better. So I just put a little line and you have a little pupil. A little line. You don't have to do that, but I think it really makes it more alive. And you can also keep the um, bands like this. And if you want, you can cut the whiskers too. Just snip at the end. And you have cute little whiskers. You can maneuver the whiskers however you want because the bands are going to go up, the bands are going to go down. And if you think that they're too long, just give them a little haircut and they'll get shorter, however long you want the whiskers. So, and that is your kitty cat. So I hope you like this tutorial, and I hope you like this design. Come back to my channel. I have a lot of dogs and a lot of different animals, okay? Please subscribe. Lovely Lovebird Designs. Bye.